finally in the fun part, which is going to be painting this sheep's head fish. We have the super basic. We've come in, we've sketched it out, we've erased some out. We're not perfect by any means. We've added in these scales using kind of a stamp slash brush. And we've just got a real base color, which is actually making our scales really hard to see. So now the fun part is going to begin of really creating this fish. So one of the first things I want to do is get this coloring in for uh, the stripes as well as these lines on the fins. So I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to call it base fins and stripes because I kind of like my dark spot. I may end up combining them with the base color layer because they are the base colors, but for now I'm going to leave it like this. Um, at any point, you could always use command, uh, click, and get a base color at least of um, some of your base if you needed to get a nice outline. So I'm going to come over. I want a sharp brush for now. And you kind of just have to play. You're not going to know exactly how to do this in the real world. I'm going to use Option, Alt Option to get kind of a this dark color because again it's not gray it's got color in it and as you can see it's got kind of this blues no matter where I'm clicking I can see that it's got blues in it so I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna paint these on where they're at kind of sharp I want it at a hundred I can always take it down it's harder if you start low and then you want to paint over it and then see how you're getting all these weird marks. I don't want any of that. So I'm going to start at 100 and then I'll work my way back. Base. Get this guy in. You might need to fade just a bit. I'm going to get this line. I'm not freaking out because I need to add in that whole fin anyways. And just, it's nice you can finally really see all of your work with those scales, which is cool. And kind of quickly getting them in. That works. Now I'm going to go up in here and kind of paint in some of my base. Ooh, these select, I want this base color one. And that works, so I'm gonna save myself some of the trouble by having that selection. I use the magic wand, and I'm gonna paint in these darks. And it's, for me right now, it's okay. These aren't perfect. I would do them much more perfect if this was some paying job. Back in my base layer, I was just using this base color to grab my outline. Back in my base fins, Hide that again. Go back to my brush. I'm gonna probably leave it pretty close to the same. I'm gonna paint these in. I can paint out all of those scales when I need to. There's a little scale right there. Cool. Got this down here. I want this much lighter. Great. And then we'll even get this thin, at least some base in there. It's not going to be perfect. Oof, that's way too light. Let's get a little bit darker in there. And some of this blue. There we go. Now 
I've got some base line, base darks. I also want to get this eyeball in there. And that's good-ish for now. There's kind of my base of my fish. Now I can really easily see where I need to erase. So I'm going to go in with select, inverse, use my eraser tool, beef it up, take things out like that. That little spot, that little spot. There you go. Much better. Um, I can also see pretty easily where I need to deselect for this, take out some of my scales. It's in black. Like this little spot, and that little spot. No big deal. Good. Let's go up here. Great. Okay. We have some of that base. I'm going to hide some of the scales for now. They're kind of distracting. And I just want to focus on getting some shape to this fish. At this point, I would probably merge these two layers. It's sort of up to you. You don't have to. I'm going to because I want all of my base art in one. I also want to be able to click and start my shading. So I'm going to get in some basic shade using techniques in this class. I'm going to go into multiply, get a brush. I'm going to get it real faded. I'm just going to paint some real basic detail, uh, basic sh shading into this, making it look more round. I'm going to like that. I'm not even going to focus on this. We're not going to spend so much time to get it so detailed, but I do want this fish at this point now to have some life in it and some shape. So I'm going to add a little bit of shading around. I'm going to get in with some of the details of my fins and then I'll add some highlights in as well. So I'm going to grab again, command click to get just this basic uh, dancing ants, can't see them very well, but they're now you can, of my form. And back out. Turn it way down. You're going to have to play with your features a little bit. And I just, like this, like I'm just adding a little bit of form, like the belly, because I want them to look rounded, right? And because I've turned Whoa, undo if you accidentally get into the wrong layer. I want to be in this shade layer. I'm not even 100% sure what that one is. Oh, some of our layers have gotten moved. Sketch, scales for sure we need. Oh, this was our background. I must have accidentally pulled it. And that's fine. Okay. Going back into my shade layer, hiding my scales. Now I can paint a little bit into there. Settings look decent. And just kind of get in there. Make sure it's turned to multiply. Make sure you've got some of that coloring in your, sh your shading. You want that, it's gonna make it look more real. The body should clearly have more rounded features than the scale or uh, than the fins and I'm just kind of see painting around kind of getting that tail to look like it sort of pinches if the body was more narrow in there I'm gonna get a decent amount of dark in at the base of this um, fin Now, I'm not gonna necessarily mess with the drop shadow that this would cast off yet. It's one of my later steps. But notice how just a little bit of shading can get that fish looking much more realistic. Okay. Now, 
kind of following our rules of thumb, we go to highlight. Sometimes I leave it normal, sometimes I move it over to a screen or a soft light. I'm going to add some light into the eyeball. Actually, I need to get some shade into my eyeball while I have this selected. If you really want a very specific spot like I do with this eyeball, come in there. Magic race, having this on its own layer makes it so nice. Make sure you're swapping back over to the shade. And then I can paint around and make sure this eyeball gets some definition. You can always darken your paint. I'm using my left hand, a lot of my brackets, popping back over into highlight. I want to make sure that my highlight I guess we're going to go pretty pure white. See how this guy is just a little bit off of it? I want it to be brighter than that. I guess we're going to keep just a little bit of that hue in there. But I want it to be much brighter. Now we can do some basic like shaping and highlights. Just kind of paint. There's a little eye could get in here and I could go back to get my base um, command on the thumbnails and I'm doing all my highlights within my fish. Oops, undo. If you don't do that, you're going to be able to see it like out in the water. You're going to have to erase that at some point. So it's definitely important to kind of do that now. Um, let's go look at, I want each of these on the front end to have a little bit of a highlight. That works. Take that off, yeah, my base, and then make sure I'm in my highlight. So like at the front. Ooh, that a little bit. Just readjust your settings. I want it a little bit larger. There we go. Check back, you know, what am I looking at? Okay, little, lots of narrow ones. I can do that. Get a little bit smaller. Great. Down here, we're gonna kind of move out that direction, but with a smaller brush. looking at the direction of these fins because you want it to be pretty close to reality. I can always go back in and erase. Let's see how this last fin so straight out also. You could always come in here with my eraser, get kind of soft, turn it down, and I could just get a few of these that kind of came over if they got too much. Oops. Sharpen if you wanted it to be a little bit sharper. Don't forget you've got that really great eraser. You're not going to get it perfect the first time. That would be crazy. And see how I can just kind of thin some of these out that got a little too crazy. Could always fade in some of that. Definitely want this to be a little bit more faded. And turn on the flow also. I go hand in hand with opacity and flow back and forth until I like the way it looks. I don't want these to be too much. I just want them to be subtle. Again, just kind of using my eraser back and forth. But look how quickly you can get this sheep's head. So we need to do this fin and this one. Okay, those are just fanning straight out. Very bright. Um, 
making some like inner mitten stripes so then I can kind of join them. See how I went back in like that? Pretty decent. Let's go look at this guy. And he's straight out. And if you decide, like I want to get back to this base fin, select just him, back into my highlight, grab this. You're not going to get these lines perfect. Definitely not the first time. So just do your best. Don't panic about it. And just remember you've got an eraser tool. Pop back over to my eraser. Kind of make sure it's pretty faint. I just want to soften this edge. Deselect. Not bad. I need to dive in there and get much more highlight on this fish head right here. So let's take that off. You know what I just noticed? You really can see some of these scales through. So I'm actually when I pop back into this layer, I'm going to show you how to bring those back. Take those off still for now. Back in the highlights. Make sure you've got a good highlight color. I'm going to grab my base. Fish. Highlight. Soft brush. And turn down. Make it much bigger. And now dragging this across. Oh, yeah, it really starts to come left. See how we've layered? Like we've layered stripes going one way and then highlights and shadows going another. And that's what helps make it look much more realistic. And not fake. You know, you're, you're aiming for realistic. So I'm just kind of getting in here giving it a few moments of better highlights. It's like you kind of layer a couple of see how that nice sharp little highlight in there. You don't necessarily need that there. Oh, that looks pretty good. Beef up my one on my eye. Let's get some in this mouth. To define the shape of this face. Okay. That's pretty close. Now let's go and address the scales. They look kind of ridiculous when you see them at this level. Oops, not highlight scales. So we want to turn them back. How easy. Oop, I'm going to do Command-D to undo. I'm going to tone them back a lot and then fade them out. I'm also going to bring back some of them that are over top of this center body fin, I guess we'll call it. So those are there. Okay, first, easy. Tone them down. Oop, I'm on my highlight layer. Don't turn down your highlight layer. Turn down your scales. So much easier. Kind of get that in a base where you're happy. That's a decent base for me. I'm going to bring back by painting white over this little center mark some of these. You'll see those start to come back. See how that starts to come back? I don't want that much. I just want a little bit, especially where those dark lines would have the most contrast and you'd see it. And there's a little bit more. I'm going to turn everything down just a tad. And then I can come in and I can really like fade some of these on the edge. Like you would definitely not. 
Ooh, make sure you have black when you want to get them back out. White brings them back, black hides them. And I'm just going to kind of paint out some of these. I've got a really low and up because you don't see as many in some of these darker areas. I could see what screen is doing versus normal. Obviously, we'll play, you wouldn't be able to see. Soft light sometimes is really nice. Oh, I like the way soft light's looking. All right, so I'm gonna turn to soft light, be fed up back just a little bit better. And that's so much more natural. Okay, at this point, there's so many more things we do. The face isn't necessarily rendered out very well, but it gives us a really nice base fish with shape definition. Um, you can leave your sketch layer on. I've turned mine down. I've got these scales. So as we can see, we've got some nice highlight, how much that adds to it. And we've just layered all of this. Biggest thing is having that reference where you can see it, having that base layer, and then using that base layer, either command to select everything. Can't see it very well, let me do it that way. To select everything or coming in and selecting certain colors. Like see, I could get just the stripes if I wanted or just the darks. I could get you know this section of light if I wanted or this section of arm if I needed to not let everything else be shown. Um, I'll show you one other quick trick. So just above this, we're gonna call this a cast shadow. While I have the spin selected, I'm gonna go up to select inverse. So now everything but that's selected. What that allows me to do, I'm gonna grab a paintbrush, I'm gonna grab some of my shade coloring. And what that allows me to do is paint a little bit of a shadow underneath that fin, which like look how much more realistic that gets. I'm not painting much over here because it's like attached at that point. Um, also, if I wanted to kind of blend this in, another trick, don't forget, is using either smudge or blur. I kind of go back and forth with all of them. So grab a regular smudge. Ooh, look, I got crazy. And turn down the strength. Just to kind of soften that edge, to blur it. Be careful though, because it's gonna also blur your other lines if you wanted to do that, which might. Um, there's just so much more you could do. Okay, so we're gonna keep going, hit save. We're gonna open our underwater scene. So now I've got both this underwater scene. You go back and watch that video if you need to finish that up. Um, I'm going to go to window, arrange, and then you can't see it, but it's the two up vertical right about here. And now I can see both. So within my fish file, I'm going to delete this layer, unlock it, and delete it. So it's not there. Now I have a transparent. I'm going to make sure all my layers are labeled. Reference. Move this guy down just so he sits there, so I still have him. Hit save again. I'm gonna grab all of these layers and dump them into one folder. Sheep's head. Now, while this is here, I'm going to grab this folder and dump him into my fish scene. I can close it at this point. It's fine, save. Oh, and look at it start to come alive. I'm gonna put it at the top for now, and then I'm gonna show you where it really needs to go. Let's get it into place. So Command-0 so I can see, Command-T so I can adjust the size of all of this. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's got a locked layer. You gotta go in and unlock that reference, which is fine. Keeping it in here is gonna be nice because you're gonna not mess it up so much. It looks a little blue, or a little white, pretty bright. Shrink it down so it fills about a third. Half. 
hit return. Now, I want the rays to be on top of it, not in it, on top. So those shine. I can beef up my rays if I want, so you can see them a little bit better. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm looking at. See how these rays are now starting to come in front of the fish? I can also, these foreground bubbles, I, may, I want the fish to look like it's in behind them. So I can move those. You could always paint more in if you wanted. And even your mid grape bubbles. Let's move those on top, not within. Be careful when you're dumping these on top. Now I can see some bubbles. Now what starts to happen is this fish actually is inside your scene. You've got some depth. You've got your rays. At this point, you could come in and adjust whatever you needed. Like if I really wanted some of my base to be a little darker, there's a lot of different ways you could do that. I happen to just go to levels a lot. That's one of my favorite ways to just adjust some of your darks. You can get things brighter. I don't necessarily want things brighter. Cancel on that guy. Oh wow, look at it with none of your base color. How fun, that really shows you how much you've layered on top of it to get this look. Okay, at that point, you've got a fish, you've got it in there. Probably needs some adjustments, it probably needs some blues. Um, no. I get, mm, let's get a little bit more of hues in there. That's going to adjust the whole thing. But I was hoping to get some of our fish done. See, he's going to get totally dark, which actually looks pretty cool. So I'm going to leave mine just a little bit darker like that because I really like the contrast that I'm getting with this hue adjustment layer. Hit save and you're done. Good job.